Geometry number 257, Polyhedra and Polyhedrons. Alright, well, in the world of 3D shapes, a polyhedron is the same as a polygon in a flat 2D world. They're solid geometric shapes that have sides in multiple planes. When the points of a shape are on more than one plane, the shape gets depth. It becomes 3D, right? The number of sides a polyhedron has determines how many planes are involved. Each side forms an edge of the shape. The edges are made by the intersection of two planes that create angles called dihedral angles. When the adjacent sides of the polyhedron are put together to make congruent dihedral angles, then we get a regular polyhedron. All right, so when we look at a triangular prism, okay, each one of these edges here, they intersect the next edge and create, create dihedral angles, okay? Now, this is not the world's greatest drawing, but it's going to get better, so stick with me. So imagine this triangular prism, which is a tetrahedron, okay? We've got four sides. We've got the back side, this side, this side, and the bottom side. Okay, it's a triangular prism, all right? So, let's say that the front side is the orange, and it's flat, okay? It could be like that side right there. Then we've got the back red side, the back blue side, and the bottom green side. Each one of these are planes, okay? I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to make it a little easier on you, all right? When we open it up, I almost tripped over my dog. When we open it up, it's going to look like this. All right, so here is a triangular prism, which is a tetrahedron. All right, think of my dry erase board as the first plane. See how, I'm trying to get the reflection from my window, not in there. See how it's on the board, okay? See how it is on there like that? So it's basically this, okay? When we use construction paper, these dotted lines are going to be where the edges intersect. We can fold it up and create this triangular shape. See it? Can you see that? I don't know how well you can see this, but each side, let me if I squish it, and it makes a triangle with a base, okay? Just like this. So when it's opened up, you can see that there would have been four planes, okay? That's a tetrahedron. It's a triangular prism, all right? When we open up a cube, a cube unfolded looks like this. This base side would be the one that's stuck to my board, and then there's a top, a bottom, okay? There's This would be side six. Up here is side three. Down here is side five. I don't want it to fall off. And then that would be one, and that this would be two, and this would be one. And number four is the part that would be stuck to the board. Can you see how I did that? So it's basically this. I don't know if you can see this, but opened up, it looks like this. Okay? See how it looks like the drawing up there? So we can fold it and fold it and fold this in and the top and the bottom in, and we can make a little cube out of the construction paper. I should, probably should have used a lighter color. But opened up, you can see how it looks like that one. See? So these are all our different planes. So we've got six different planes that this cube is on. We've got one, two, three. The part that's on the board is four, five down here, and that's six. So you can see them all when it's opened up, okay? That is basically a cube, but it's a hexahedron, and it's named because of how many sides it's got, okay? They're named by the number of their sides. Can you see that? And you can see how one plane is on the edge of the next plane, see? So the edges are made by the intersection of the two planes, and that creates angles called the dihedral angles, all right? So maybe now you can, 
understand my crazy drawing over here a little bit more about how all the planes are laying all around it, okay? It's almost like this. What if I were to take this flat piece and say, okay, the board is plane number one, then this part right here is plane number two, this is plane number three, and then the bottom would be plane number four, see? Then on this one, the board is plane number one. That's plane number two on the side here. Three, four, five would be in the front here, and then six would be on the side. And that's six planes. And it would be sitting like this. And we can actually do that on a coordinate plane. We can draw 3D images, okay? So, that is polyhedra and polyhedrons. I hope I wasn't too confusing, and I hope opening it up explained it. But just remember, they're named by how many sides they are, they have. And remember what the dihedral angles are. They are the edges made by the intersection of the two planes, and they create these dihedral angles, okay? So, I'll see you next video. Bye.